In this video, I am sharing with you how I have prepared my small home for a dessert portion of a progressive dinner for 20 plus women. So we have a small home, as most of you know, 950 square foot, and we are having ladies over tomorrow night for a church progressive dinner, and I am doing the dessert portion and excited to share with you what I have prepared for that and how I'm gonna make our space work for having that many women in our home. So we did have our daughter's second birthday in April and we had about 15 people and I really felt like the space worked well for that amount of people. It was nicer out so we could go outside, but um, I think it's gonna work really well for having this amount of people here just with how the flow of um, getting your food and walking through and places to sit and also since it's the dessert you can stand around and eat and drink your drinks as well in a small space like this so what I had to do first um, what I'm going to share with you first of how I have prepared is of course the typical just getting a home ready and I'm not one to have a lot of clutter in my home as many of you know that as well so cleaning was not too difficult. I just did kind of my weekly cleaning. Um, you saw in my last video that I like deep cleaned the bathroom and just did a few other odds and ends to get the home a little more ready for people to come over. And a lot of it, they wouldn't even really care, but it's more on my sake that I really wanted to get that more deep cleaned and other areas cleaned that I haven't done for a while. So typical things like wiping down the kitchen chairs. And doing the typical vacuuming and vacuuming out of the furniture when you find little Cheerios or raisins in the air. Dusting, which is a very weekly thing for us. Um, and then just wiping down some of the sinks and doing that type of cleaning. Now the next thing I had to do was my meal prepping and planning. So for the dessert foods I have prepared, we are having two cheesecakes, a New York style cheesecake and a raspberry swirl with an oat nut crust, which I've never tried before so I'm really excited to see how that turns out. And I also have a couple pumpkin rolls that I made using some pumpkin that I um, baked myself and pureed up and then some seven layer bars which is a really easy go-to recipe and it's like a great crowd pleaser if the others don't go over as well. For drinks I am having apple cider which I just bought from Aldi and then I'll put it on the stove and have some cinnamon sticks in there and it'll just make the house smell wonderful. Then we're having some decaf, co decaf coffee and some tea. So a very simple food affair, but yet it is tedious to make all that food for 20 plus people because I wanted to have a few options as well. So the first thing I made was the pumpkin roll a couple days ago because that can be refrigerated and I'm not great at pumpkin rolls but a couple of them turned out really well and the other one will be for our family because there was just a little oops on it, which is okay because then we can enjoy it ourselves too and you learn as you go. Cheesecakes are, like I said, something I have just made and because cheesecakes don't last real long as well. And so I made them today. The dinner is tomorrow, tomorrow night. So I wanted to make sure everything was fresh. And the raspberry swirl cheesecake looks beautiful. I'm excited to take off the springform pan and see how it turns out.
and then seven layer bars is really simple to make as well. So then I also wanted to make sure that I got my linens prepared as well. I ironed those out and got them ready because I'll be setting them under some of my trays. And then I got a, a tiered tray that I have and then a couple other crystal trays to display the cheesecakes on. And then I'm going to be using some greens to wrap around the food to full greens just to add some more touch of Christmas to it as well. And that's a fun thing about hosting events with food. You can make them look beautiful in whatever season they are in as well. And then the drinks, we're just going to be using styrofoam cups and another church lady is providing the forks and the napkins and the plates but they are beautiful red Christmas design as well so again all that fun Christmas vibe that comes along with hosting a party and to make it work for ease of moving around our kitchen we'll start on the long end and move around and get our food and then drinks and then people can meander back to the living space or sit in here as well we will be using a folding table that we will put some chairs around as well that we'll get from the church and then we'll add a few more chairs to this table out here people can sit on the couch or the chairs in the living area as well and just make it a cozy space for the ladies to enjoy their treats and drinks now i did add a few more christmas touches to the doors on our bedrooms and our bathroom by adding some faux greens that I cut along with some eucalyptus and a ribbon and hung it on the door with a command hook. I just wanted to make the whole house a little more Christmassy, cozy, and inviting because with it being so small, everybody is going to be seeing the whole space. And that's a fun thing about a small house. They kind of get to see the quirks and the ins and outs of what you have. And I think since it's going to be a chilly night tomorrow night that coats will probably be taken to the master bedroom. I remember going to my grandparents' house and that was always the place that we would put our coats is in the master bedroom. So it's just kind of nostalgic to put coats in the master bedroom too, I think. So that is all the prep I have done thus far. Oh, made a caramel sauce as well for the New York style cheesecake. And I may potentially make another berry sauce for that too, just to give a couple options. So it's going to be a fun evening and it's going to be just nice and cozy. And I'm gonna make the space work, like I said, for the group that we have. And that's just something that you shouldn't feel intimidated to invite people to your home if you have a small space, if you have an apartment. Just make it work. You have to rearrange things sometimes. I will be taking our baby swing out so we can put the table in because that baby swing is really large and the table would not fit well in there and allow people to walk by that table either. So just make the space that you have work for the people that you have coming over and truly people come over most of the time to see you not to just see your home so i remind myself of that as i am talking to you too well i hope you enjoyed seeing what i did to prepare for this and how it turned out and that um, you just feel like you can enjoy the holidays as well with the people that you have mm -hmm.